So I moved, so I hadn't uh, made any videos in a while. Um, this is the 1983 Mako 490 that I have. And what I want to do is I want to put disc brakes onto it. So um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to have these front uh, triple trees uh, enlarged to support 43 millimeter um, tubes. So I'm looking into having that done. So what we have here is I have these need new seals. So I've ordered new seals to put in, put in here. They're kind of leaking a little bit, but these are. <clears throat> this is from a 1987 conventional fork from a CR125, and so these will give me front and disc brakes, and so hopefully that'll be an easy fix. These are the 42 millimeter front forks that were on the Mako um, initially. These ones are actually in. Pretty good shape since I had replaced the seals on them. What I'm probably do is put those on my 82 because my 82, as you can see, uh, is leaking the uh, fork oil. So <clears throat> I'll probably take these forks off and put the, the other ones on. The um, so if I can get that done, then this bike here will have um, front forks. Now the reason I can't use the triple trees from the CR, as you can see over here, is these are the, this is the Mako one. Um, the Mako, first of all, this is much, a much thicker tube than the CR. And this is the outer ring bearing that goes into the frame. Um, as you can see, how that fits on the Mako, and, and it doesn't fit at all on this one. So what I would have needed to figure out is getting a bearing, and a bearing that has the same inner diameter, but the same as the as this one, but the same outer diameter as the the Mako does now. Um, they are the same width apart, though. So you kind of see that they're a little, this one's a little bigger, but uh, it's one millimeter bigger. So I'm thinking that instead of trying to do something like that, I can just make these bigger. So that would help get uh, front disc brakes. This here is a new, uh, newer YZ250's front end upside down forks. And I was going to put these ones on, but <clears throat> in order to do that, it would take a big modification to get this to work. And then since I was kind of worried a little bit about the frame, um, how it would handle upside down forks, and I really don't need them. So my um another reason I was thinking this would work is because if you look over here, this is my 86 Mako uh, 500, and as you can see, it has the exact same CR125 uh, front forks, and it has the Mako triple trees. So I should be able to have that work. I'm not sure if this 86 came stock with the 43 millimeter, or if there was if these were modded to put in the 43 millimeter, but. Since that has it, I'm sure I can get that one to have it. Um, the other thing that I was going to try to do, it's a little bit more of a stretch, is rear disc brakes. Now for that one, um, I am actually going to see if I can find someone to fabricate me a swing arm. So we'll have to... Uh, see if I can find someone so we'll see about that but in the meantime I'm looking at seeing if I can get this front work done have these enlarged and uh, see if I can get front disc brakes <laughs> 